Uh, next, we have Curtis Blair from the greatest chamber of commerce in the state of Utah, the Utah Valley Chamber of Commerce. Uh, tell us about Utah Valley Chamber of Commerce. I'm familiar with it. I grew up in Utah Valley. Utah County is, is home, always has been, probably always will be. Um, what are you guys working on these days? Well, it's, it's great to be here, and, and, and yes, we do consider you homegrown Utah Valley uh, and super representative of the great things that have come out of, the, uh, out of this county. Uh, we're involved in several uh, uh, initiatives and, and summits and gatherings that really help business and other community members focus on how we manage the growth that's coming to Utah Valley. Um, we believe that it can and will be the best place to live, work, learn, and play. And it's gonna take some work, uh, especially with the kind of infrastructure challenges and growth opportunities that are coming our way. Do you think they'll ever combine Provo and Orem into one city and then Utah County has the biggest city in the state? Well, we'll be the biggest county in the state in another couple, 10 or 20 years, right? It's, it, that's coming. Um, you know, Provo Orem, you know, the, the chamber used to be the Provo Orem yeah. Chamber, because it was really where the business center was. But that has changed in the last two or three decades, and certainly for the better. Like, we see the innovation and the, the opportunities and the, the networking and the collaboration where, you know, that's what sets us apart, maybe different than other chambers in Utah County, is that we're a regional chamber that way. So we keep our eye focused on transportation issues, housing, health care, uh, business environment, workplace development, all of those things that bring, you know, from Lehigh to Santa Quinn, a great group of people together focus on those growth challenges and opportunities in, in our county. And I, I think we're at the cross hairs of, of, of the state in terms of growth, innovation, and I believe that as goes Utah Valley, so goes the state, yeah. and so goes the state of Utah. I hope we can be an example to the nation. Yeah, it really is incredible. I mean, you mentioned Santa Quinn, and Santa Quinn has grown. Yeah, yeah. And then Spanish Fork feels like a, a big city now, which is which is crazy. That's yeah. where I'm from, actually. And it, yeah. that's, that used to be a small farm town. It's not anymore. It, it's not. And so that's part of the challenge and opportunity is how do we protect open spaces and still, you know, uh, engage in the quality of life that we were that we've been accustomed to, right? There's there's some there's some give and take that we need to focus on. But um, I did not know that that was one thing we had in common. I live in Spanish Fork. Yeah. And it has grown. I mean, you leave for two years and come back, it's a different city. It totally is. It's yeah. crazy. Uh, and what about Startfest? What does it mean for the chamber to be a part of Startfest? Well, it's, it's awesome with a very similar mission in that we believe that most of the problems that, that, that we need to address with the growth, with the challenges on infrastructure, with the current economy can be solved through the entrepreneurial spirit. And we see that alive and well in Silicon Slopes. We think that this is a big um, event that, that really does showcase some of the best stories that are coming out of our state, most especially, of course, Utah Valley. But it really is a, a collaborative effort to see our business and uh, community come together with public-private partnerships. Those that have been on our um, you know, uh, broadcast today are a big part of that, that growing collaboration where all boats rise. Yeah, and you've got... Another Utah County legend, the Utah County legend, and Governor Herbert involved in some of your he, efforts. He's our executive chair. Um, we were privileged actually to visit with, with um, uh, Garrett and John not too long ago and talking about, hey, how do we work more closely together? What ways can we support one another in, in growing this county and this state in a way that, that, that enables this positive momentum that you feel? I, I, I'm not, it's not just, um, you know, words that I'm saying when I say, I believe that we can be an example to the nation on how we manage this growth, how collaborative we can be addressing some of the most important issues that are facing, you know, our state and our county. I agree. Uh, give it up for Curtis, Utah Valley Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, Clint. Thanks so much.